Hi everyone, this is John Siegel with Siegel Sound. I appreciate you tuning in to watch this first webcast that I'm uh, producing here. And what I'm going to be doing in this web series is talking about very unique problems that result in doing uh, music and sound design, um, as well as uh, scoring the picture and other things that you might encounter with, uh, you know, using Logic Pro, uh, Pro Tools, or other uh, DAW software. So, one of the things that um, I've come across is actually getting video from film directors that does not have time code on it. And as most of you know, having time code is very handy when you're trying to discuss something with the director uh, about certain placements of, of musical hits or sound design that you're trying to do, uh, and, and just to keep that communication clear and to keep the sync accurate. Now, most, most directors are gonna be skilled enough uh, that uh, you know they're gonna ha have the means and the software to produce this uh, for you and hopefully it'll even come that way before you even see it um, but you know as more and more people uh, start getting started in, in uh, different web series or uh, in you know just basically starting with very much home movie type tools um, they may not have the expertise to do this uh, and um, it might be nice to do it yourself so uh, I wanted to show you that um, you know there's actually kind of a, a little hidden gem that comes with logic Pro Studio uh, and that is called uh, Compressor. And Compressor is usually used uh, with Final Cut Studio, and it comes with that as well, to produce lots and lots of variations on a video file. Um, and uh, so you could output your, your results to, uh, like you see here, I can create an audio podcast, I can publish to mold me, to TV format, to YouTube, iPad, you know, all sorts of different media formats, to DVD uh, and everything, and do it all at once. So I just you know, put the job in once and let, let the queue run and I produce all these different variations in the file. Uh, but for what we're going to do, we're, we're basically going to use a filter that is included with this to add uh, some empty time code. So I'm going to show you how to do that because this is a little a little confusing and this would probably be one of the only um, applications for audio folks to use compressor. So it's nice to know how to do this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use um, a little student video project that I scored uh, many years ago as a demonstration. I'm going to add my file here. Um, it'll accept most um, most standard video formats. This happens to be an MP4 format, right at 30 frames per second. And I have the video format uh, video file added here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, have to create a custom setting. And so I'm going to go to my plus here. Uh, I, I can change the video format if I want to here. Uh, if you want to re-encode this, say, as a DV stream uh, uh, or something else, you could certainly have the option to do that. But I'm just going to keep it uh, as MP4. Uh, you can see I can change the video rate, the frame rate, everything. I know that the frame rate of this is 30, so I'm going to keep that the same, so I don't alter any of that. Uh, but the very, the very uh, 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 important thing here is in actually this fourth tab over here, which is our filters tab. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see there's a time code generator. Very cool. So time code generator down there. Uh, I'm going to uh, choose my position here. I kind of experimented with this a little bit. I found it best to use lower center title safe. And you'll see it looks like there's nothing over here. Uh, in the top right we have our preview boxes. On the left is kind of pre-compressing uh, uh, and on the right is what the compress looks like. Um, and uh, I can change my time code which will help it show up here. I'm going to use kind of a, a bright green because I found that that actually works very well and shows up in a lot of formats because you might have people who use you know white scenes or black scenes like this one and you won't see anything. Uh, and I can also adjust the font. I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger, maybe 36. Uh, and so that way, uh, it'll be a little bit, a little bit easier to see. I'm gonna make sure the time code starts at 000. You could add a label that would appear before it over here. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it. Now, now you have your time code generated. Uh, I can, I'll click this and, and and save this. Right now, it's just called Untitled MPEG4, so I could probably save it as something much better, like Sequence Sound um, Time Code. I'll put the time code down there. Great, save that again. Then what you have to do is you have to take this operation and drag it up here. So it knows that this is what you're processing and click Submit. You can rename it up here, say with time code and Submit. And you can see the job is running down here. Here's a previously executed version of that similar job. And it's just gonna take a minute and it's gonna produce uh, that file in the same folder, whatever you chose up here. I said source, so it's gonna be in the same uh, uh, folder as that other file and I'll show you what that output looks like 
uh, very quickly. Uh, coincidentally, uh, you can also actually set this up to run across multiple machines if this is a really large file. Um, you can kind of output this to a slave machine that you might might have on your network or something like that um, uh, to save you some time. But this is a very short video, so it's only going to take a couple of seconds to, uh, to finish processing this. All right, looks like it's wrapping up. Uh, and then once it's finished, we're going to be able to click this little arrow and be able to pull up that folder. And you can see there's the two. There's the one with the time code. And you can click play. And you can see it running there. So there you go. That's how you add time code uh, to most any type of video format that you want. And uh, then you'll be able to send that back to the director and be able to share that and be able to talk very clearly about what sync uh, points you want to talk about. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave comments uh, on the blog or on this YouTube video, and we'll see you next time.